Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here today a, another Wild Eversharp and this was a modern Wild Eversharp that I was able to pick up at the London Pen Show from my good friend John Foy at St John's Pens. Uh, this pen will be going back to him so there is a caveat here that I won't be inking this pen up and I won't be doing a writing sample because this isn't my pen. So this pen will be going back to him and I want to respect that but I wanted to show this pen off and John agreed that I could show this on a video. So this really is just a mini review of the Wild Eversharp Decker Band. So this pen is uh, called the Gold Seal and you can see why it has a lot of sort of cracked sort of lines or cracked ice kind of like gold effect going on there and this was part of the magnificent seven range which was uh, seven pens from while ever sharp and this is the modern uh, revival of while ever sharp with uh, sid sepperstein and for me though this is a really nice looking pen so i'll show you it up a little bit more close and you can really see how this really does pop as you can see here that sort of like gold seal going on there is really quite nice so you start off with the cap finial and then you have the while ever sharp logo or medallion there which is a w and then you have the while ever sharp clip and this clip is actually a small clip and it really goes back to the vintage versions of Wild Eversharps uh, which tend to have smaller clips and, and most vintage pens would have smaller clips so this one the clip doesn't start at the top it starts about a third of the way down or a quarter of the way down then you have three bands here and uh, you have a small band then you have a larger Greek key band and then another smaller band and you tend to see that on a lot of uh, pens. Uh, the Greek key band you tend to see a lot more uh, on previously on Omas. You also see it on Armando Simone Club. And it's the same Greek key band that you see there that you would have on an ASC Bologna Extra Arco or or any um, extra like the Africa. Maybe the Africa. The Africa is different actually. It had a more like a, a leaf uh, pattern. But the Arco certainly would, would have that Greek key band there. And you can see the the uh, cap here is actually quite cylindrical. The body itself does start to taper down a little bit. And it does actually remind me more of the Conway Stewart Churchills because they tend to taper down about here as well. And then here you have what is effectively the pneumatic filling mechanism. And you have a hole there. Now... I do find these are a little bit awkward to try and grip with my uh, large fingers. Um, so I can untwist this, but it's not easy for me compared to, say, an ASC Bologna. Now, if I pull it out, you'll see there you get, again, the Greek key band. So this is a pneumatic filler, so it has a sack inside it. The idea is, is that you put your finger over the hole, you submerge the nib in the ink and then you push this down and then you let go and then there will be a suction created and a rush of air and the ink will rush into the pen or into the sack and then once finished you can then screw it down but as I mentioned at the start of the video I'm not going to ink this one up because this pen will be going back to its owner so if I remove the cap you'll see here as well that it is using the while ever sharp and this is a number eight nib it's called the super flex nib and it's an 18 karat gold nib so this is very similar if not almost identical to the Armando Simone Club Bologna extra nibs and they are the magic flex this is the super flex nib this is the 18 karat gold nib there were some wild ever sharps and i think also some asc bolognas that had 14 karat gold nibs but this is the 18 karat gold nib but uh, it's a really nice nib I, I do like these nibs a lot 
and you can see here it has the the very large feed there that's going on with that nib but I do find that these pens are actually quite a nice size and a nice weight but let's just do a dimension check and then we'll do a weight check and then we'll do a comparison with other pens so this pen is about 143 millimeters in length the cap is about 70 millimeters in length and if we unscrew the cap and then we check the body from the tip of the nib we're looking about 142 millimeters so that definitely is an oversized pen and I think what we'll do is we will do a weight check and as I mentioned this is not inked up so this is around about 58 and a half grams in weight with the cap the pen and again not inked up is just under 43 and a half grams so that is quite a weight but it's a weight that I do like I do like more weightier pens so for me this really is a nice looking pen and I do like the pattern on this as well but I think let's go and do a comparison with other pens so from left to right we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Africa we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Verde this is in the gold trim and this one's in a rhodium trim we have an Armando Simone Club Bologna Extra Arco Brown we have a Wal Eversharp Decaband Oversize, the Magnificent 7, and this is the Saffron. We have a Wal Eversharp Decaband Oversize, and this is the Magnificent 7, and it's a Gold Seal. We have a Scribo Scrittura Bolognese, this is the Feel in the Verde Prato, and this is the Verde Bosco. We have a Monty Grappa Extra 1930 Shiny Lines Dove. And last but not least, we have a Leonardo. And this is the Mediterraneo, which has a piston filling mechanism and a gold nib with a celluloid body. So what do I like and what do I not like about the pen? Well, to be honest, there really isn't a lot to dislike about the pen. I think the only thing that I would say about the dislike about the pen is it's using a vintage sack and when ink dries up in the sacks they're not that easy to try and clean out plus you might have to renew the sack at some point uh, but in terms of the likes on the pen I like the size I like the weight I, I like the dimensions and if I put this in my hand you'll see here that this pen really is a nice fit in my hand uh, I can post the cap if I want to it becomes a bit of a wand so it's not something I would normally do on a pen like this but I do like this and I do love how these nibs write and um, I have the Armando Simone Club nibs which are effectively the same nib it's a magic flex versus a super flex but they are effectively the same nibs uh, at least the 18 karat gold ones are so for me this really is a nice pen it's a stunning pen and i want to thank uh, john foy for loaning me this pen and this will be going back to john uh, in the very near future so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you on the next pen video Bye-bye.